Oh, it took years. But I earned my way to the top. I own Chilfero Farm, you see. Very successful. I actually advise the Jarl on political matters. My input is invaluable, of course. But this is all probably a bit over your head. Got something for just about everybody in here. Give a hop. Welcome to war, mate. Take a look. Good doing business with you. Come by Bellathor's shop at the market. I'm sure. Don't mean to be rude, but I'm too busy to talk right now. Thinking of settling in? There's a house for sale. Well, Reasonable. that traveler. You should talk to the steward. Up in the ah, man gives bards a bad name. We Nords have a long history as warrior poets. I am proud to count myself among them. But Mikael, he sings only for gold and the affections of wenches. He dishonors our traditions. May your sword be sharp, and your tongue sharper. Hmm. You tried mercenary work? It might suit you. from the dung of mortality! And now, walk among the stars! Fear for the boy. I'm a swordsman. We can never rest easy, for Balgraf's enemies will not. I've got my eyes on you. Hey there! Well, in the old tales, the dragonborn heroes would use the power of their voice to defeat the enemies of Skyrim. Wolfharth was dragonborn. Talos, too, the founder of the Empire. Back in the good old days. In the very oldest tales, back from when there still were dragons in Skyrim, the dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. In the old tales, Nord heroes would use the power of their voice to shout down the gates of cities and strike down their enemies. But only the Greybeard studied the way of the voice anymore. If you can shout, you need to talk to them. They're the masters of the way of the voice, of shouting. They live up on top of the throat of the world. If you're really dragonborn, they'll want to talk to you. 
In the old stories, they always summon the Dragonborn for training. Keep safe. It seems our enemies have no end of spies, saboteurs, and assassins to send against us. Long life to you, Thane. Lead the way. Another wanderer, here to lick my father's boots. Good job. Did you slip out again last night for a drink at the Bannard Mare? Heard about that, did you? Yes, I went out for a pint or two. What of it? These secret visits to the tavern will make you an easy target for an enemy assassin. You should have told me first. I won't apologize for talking Father says I'm too young to train with the sword. I serve Jarl Balgruff as steward. That might be so. Never stop me from trying. Splendid. There's a house available right now. <coughs> Wonderful. Here's the key to your new home. <coughs> I'll be glad to help you. And of course, don't forget to consult your home. De now, what would you like to purchase?
As you wish. Speak to me again if you decide to purchase some decorations for your home. The Jarl is, as you can imagine, very busy. Perhaps I can assist you. I'll be glad to help. And of course, don't... Now, what would you like to purchase? Very well. I'll... Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? Very well. I'll make the... Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? I serve Jarl Balgruff as steward. I'll be glad to help. And of course, now, what would you like to purchase? Very well, I'll make the arrangements. The next time you visit your house, your new furnishings will be in place. The Jarl is, as you can imagine, very busy. Perhaps I can assist you.
What's on your mind? As you command. What do you need? Okay, got it. Anything else?
Back already? You know where to find me. Oh, <laughs> 